It's the Jaden Show, and here's your host, Jaden Cornelius. Oh my goodness, welcome to the Jaden Show on JCTV here on YouTube. It's so nice to be back chatting with you. I hope you're all doing good. We have some amazing shows lined up in the not too distant future. We have singers, we have international recording celebrities, we have authors, we have models, we have business owners, we have charities, we have something of interest every single week and it's gonna be amazing and I'm so pleased that you are able to join us. So how are things going where you are? How are you doing? I'm here in Mexico. It's really, really super hot as you can probably see the sweat. I've just, um, I've just had the most amazing time here this summer doing things, writing new music, shooting a new music video. It's been absolutely amazing. I'm very chuffed. But I want to know how you're doing, how you're coping um, with the state of the world today. What are you doing to bring you joy and to keep you upbeat and perky? Please let us know because I think we should be sharing these ideas on the show so everyone feels upbeat and perky at all times. Now, I don't want to go on chatting because there's no point. We want to keep these shows short, sweet, and full of fun. So I'm going to quickly show you a video of the young lady I'll be interviewing today.
I bet you can't wait to meet her. She is an international music artist, a wedding singer, a jazz singer, a soprano. She has sung in Las Vegas, in London, on cruises. And as you'll find out more in the show, she has also sung for Saudi Arabian royalty and the Prime Minister of Lebanon. Who gets to do that? I certainly haven't in 30 years in music and you're going to find out all about it. Her name is Gemma Louise Doyle. She is absolutely wonderful. And here is our special guest. Gemma Louise Doyle, thank you so much for joining the Jaden Show here on YouTube. How are you doing? You're in um, Isle of Wight right at this very moment, am I, am I right? Um, well, hello everybody and Jaden, thank you so much. It's such a blessing to be part of your show and it's very exciting that you're doing this. Um, so hello everybody. I am currently, yes, um, performing. I just had a show today. So it's uh, it's coming up for 1 a.m. in the UK right now and I've just been performing for an audience in a beautiful resort. I've never been to the Isle of Wight before. I've been everywhere but um, yeah, I'm here and very excited to talk with you. It's a very beautiful place, uh, the Isle of Wight. So if you ever get time to visit England, yeah, it's a nice place to come. And the very, Isle of very... Wight is stunning. It's absolutely it's a beautiful, beautiful place. So. Yeah. And, and how did the show go? Was it good? Did you enjoy it? I had, I had a, it was wonderful. It's so good to be back doing what we're here to do in this world. And I had a lovely audience of really, really appreciative people and they, they love my music. So yeah, it was fantastic. And they had lots of really nice compliments. Amazing. Well, I've been following you on Facebook for quite some time because like yourself, I also started doing classical crossover music. You've kind of, you're branching now into more kind of mainstream music, am I right? Well, actually I've, I was born loving singing and loving music and I've always used to, I started out singing quite pop music and a, a wide variety, but I have a very high voice and I have a, a powerful message to share with the world. So I do quite a lot of um, like classical crossover and inspirational music as well as of all styles, really, power ballads like yourself, Jaden, and some rock music, jazz, and Motown, and and I'm also a songwriter myself. So uh, that's the main thing is that I'm a music artist, creating my own material, and I'm just putting a band together at the moment. So mm -hmm. yeah, very versatile. Amazing. So you are like an international. Are you a soprano, right? I am. So I am international a singer because you have sung everywhere to be honest so you have sung in las vegas you've sung for i've got it here for the saudi arabian royalty and the prime minister of lebanon i have sometimes double, by an accident w sometimes. wtf like how how did you like how did that conspire how did that all that happen that's amazing well i I believe that we we all have um, a reason for being here in this world, and I just work very hard and and envision my goals and believe in in what I want to achieve. And sometimes I just find myself performing for people that I didn't even know I was going to sing for. <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> Because there's things just come up and agencies sometimes book me or I network with people and end up meeting fantastic people. But I think if you have a vision and a goal and a dream that you can achieve anything as long as you believe in that and work really hard and, and yeah, just have positive energy. Yeah, the universe kind of just pulls all the pieces together and gets everything in place, right? Well, it's magic, isn't it? Whether yeah. you believe that there's God or there's the universe or whichever angels or power that you believe in, I think that, you know, whatever, we really create our own reality and, and that's kind of my message. Not everybody believes that in the world, but a lot of the most successful people do and, and a lot of loving people. So 
I certainly find that from my experience that we get exactly a mirror image of what we believe and, and focus on it. There. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. That's amazing. And it's really, really um, refreshing to hear that, actually, that there are people um, kind of getting involved with um, becoming a positive influence and um, the law of attraction and what we give out, we get back. You don't often hear it. And with the world, the way it is at the moment, I think everyone needs to be looking at, at this as a possible yeah. option, right? Yeah, because we all need to support each other and we need to be positive energy. And it really upsets me when I see people not feeling that way. And so some a lot of my original music, I write about that to help people because when you're a performer, Jaden, you'll know from being on stage whatever energy you give to an audience you can see that they they resonate with that and they feel that and they music is very powerful and so that's why I commit all of my my heart and soul and time to to help and share that love and that light and that positivity absolutely I, I I posted something on Facebook and on my social media today about I've just released I'm just releasing a, a, a single and it's quite interesting because it's all about um the fact that the whole point of the single and the video everything was it was not about color it wasn't about creed it wasn't about sexual orientation it wasn't about money it wasn't about lifestyle it was just literally about creativity love and our passion for music and that for me was so powerful to do something like that but nothing else mattered that um, i was singing with a, an amazing artist from mexico who's tall and black and handsome and gangster boy and then there's little me who, you know, completely opposite to him. And, you know, it was just amazing just to have no boundaries. It was just about love, music, and our passion for creativity. And that was so refreshing. You know, there's too many people getting too caught up in what they can do, what they can't do, what they're meant to do, what the media have told them. So hearing someone as positive of you saying, you just have to, you just have to make that connection. You just have to, you know, yeah. create your reality is really refreshing. Uh, I mean, we're all one, aren't we? We're we're all one, so we should be able to support each other like yeah. family, um, no matter where you're from and who you are and, and what you do. Yeah, no, absolutely. Um, yeah. Absolutely. Let's talk about, I've, I've kind of discovered something, you know, really, really superiorly interesting, that you can speak six languages. I do. I can speak six languages. I've been out of practice recently because the world's been a bit chaos, hasn't it, for recently? But yeah, I, I speak. Do you want to know which languages? Yeah, are? absolutely. So, in this order, I speak English, German, Italian, French, Spanish, and a little bit of Chinese. Mm -hmm. So, I'm not fluent in six languages, although I would love to be. But I actually find German is the easiest language, even though it might not be the most beautiful sounding. I find it really easy to, yeah. Wow. It, it makes sense. They have really cool wor words, the Germans. They basically, they make really, really long words as well. They have the longest words by far in the whole world because they just put everything together. Rather than making sentences, they just make one really long word. And like, for example, I'll tell you some funny things that I learned. I did it at, at college. I did A-level German when I was studying music and biology. So it was very random subjects, but those were what I was most... Um, you know, those are my strongest subjects. So, um, so Germans, they rather than they have like a refrigerator or in England, because we're lazy to say a fridge, yeah. um, the Germans call it Ein Kühlschrank, which means a cold cupboard. Okay. And then, and then rather than the Hoover, which doesn't really tell you a lot, the Germans instead they call it Ein Staubsauger, which wow. means. It means a dust sucker. We need we need more languages at this obvious, quite frankly. I remember learning Einhörnchen, which is a squirrel in German. So oh wow! That's I, I remember I remember that. I was really good at German at school, and I've been living in Mexico para cinco años en este momento y no hablo mucho español. I'm trying my best to learn it. I can get by every day, but if you ask me what happened yesterday. 
couldn't tell you. Sounded very good to me. Muchas gracias, mi amor. Muy amable. But uh, I'm trying, but it's it's really, I'm really struggling with Spanish. Spanish and Italian are quite similar, I think. Mm -hmm. And Portuguese sounds very Spanish, but if you ask any Portuguese, because I used to perform on the cruise ships, and they would say, totally, no way, it doesn't, it's totally different, Portuguese is totally different to Spanish. Um, in Mexico, they're all Spanish speakers, aren't they? Well, there's actually hundreds of languages in Mexico and still hundreds being spoke. Spanish is the most universal language of Mexico, but there's Maya, there's Nahuatl, there's like a whole list of indigenous languages here. Where, where I live in Quintana Roo, in the Riviera Maya, the majority of people speak Spanish, but actually the biggest language here is Maya. That's like a historic language, isn't it? Yeah, but it's still spoken to this day. And don't ask me to speak because I couldn't. It's a very, like, it, uh, it kind of language. It's a very, like, shortened word language. It's amazing, actually. That's not easy to pick up. But the one thing is music connects us all, doesn't it? And that, yeah. we're, we're very blessed that English music and American music is known all around the world, isn't it? Yeah. I think so. Well, the influence here of, of um, music from the States, you know, you people like Sam Smith, Adele, Dua Lipa, they're like huge in Mexico, which is really quite interesting. I don't feel quite as away from home when I turn on the radio and I'm hearing one, pick up the phone, you know, and I'm like, oh my God, I'm hearing my language every day. It's amazing. So a lot, a, lot of, a lot of international people say that they learn English from listening to our music. Absolutely, absolutely. A lot of the friends that I made here, I said, when did you start? They said by translating songs that they liked. So that's amazing. Maybe I need to learn so Spanish. Good. Let's talk about your music, because that's the reason why, because you are international celebrity superstar. And I want to talk about, you have, you released an album last Christmas called See the Light. Yeah. Yeah. And you're going to um, do a video for the title track, the single. Is there any plans for a video for the title track to the single? Um, I think I need to do a video. I think it's a good good suggestion. I've tried to do videos for my other original songs as well. Um, I have all my music on Spotify. So if your listeners would like to hear my original songs, they are on Spotify. I I wrote See the Light at for you know during the pandemic, which mm -hmm. we are now thank hallelujah, thank goodness we're coming out of it, it seems. I hope things are all well in Mexico. Are you coming out of this situation in Mexico? We, yeah, it's quite high at the moment. It's quite high. We have a lot of um tourists coming in from the States. So, you know, and it's very, very high in the in the United States of America as well. And People don't really want to wear masks when they come here on holiday in 36 degrees. So we're having lots of problems with COVID. COVID in the whole of Mexico is very high at the moment, but it is. Now the vaccinations are rolling out. We're hoping that we're going to kind of start to see some kind of um, levelling of that, which will be lovely because... That I, makes you know. sense, yeah. So, yeah, I, I wrote a full album uh, during the lockdown in the UK and I called the album See the Light... And the songs on there all have a theme of seeing the light through the darkness and keeping that positive energy. And I wrote See the Light um, to help people who especially were struggling and needed that positivity that music can bring. Amen. That's amazing. And people can hear all of that album on Spotify. And obviously on all your social media websites, you'll keep them updated as to when new singles, new music and new videos are coming out, right? Definitely. So if people want to find me, the best way to find the album is to go and Google search my name, which is Gemma Louise Doyle. And all of my social media platforms, if you want to see what I'm doing and hear my music and follow my adventures around the world, I often post on um, Instagram stories so people can see where I am and things and hear about new music and just re positive messages. Well, at, at, at the end of the show, we're going to put a list of all your links as well so people can, we can help people find you a lot easier. 
We're going to post links to all of your social media at the end of this, so you can so our followers are going to see exactly how they can get in touch with you, how they can see and view your music and your videos, and how they can listen to everything on Spotify as well. Wonderful. I've got a question. I apologize, everybody. I apologize, everybody, that I'm very wobbly. I did not have a phone holder or anything with me because I'm in a hotel at the moment. You're doing really well, actually. It's probably better than mine. Mine's wobbly and I'm stationary, which is quite scary. Uh And this is just the heat. Um, Right, we're going to do a thing now with all of our celebrities. We do a thing called the quick fire rounds. Okay, you're not aware of anything that is about to be said, but I'm going to give you two options, two words that might trigger something for you. And I want you to instantly pick the first one that causes a reaction with you, okay? Yeah. But just to let you know, I will try and say one thing, but I'm a, a little bit of a rebel and I'm too honest for my own good sometimes. So I might actually not choose either of them. Oh, that's but cool. I'll try and you can say pass or not interested or, you know. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Okay, you ready? Quick fire. Starting okay. now. Winter or summer? Summer. President Royal Family? Neither. Pizza Pasta? I'm allergic to gluten. <laughs> non-gluten pizza, non-gluten pasta. Uh, pasta. Fantastic. Harry Potter or Lord of the Rings? Ooh, yeah. they're both very exciting. Both. both. If I had to say, probably Harry Potter. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Good. That's my sister there. Meat or vegetables? Ooh. Vegetables. Vegetables. Mornings and or night. Night time. Reading or TV. Reading. Beach break. City break. Um. I like cultural places. Interesting places. Probably city. City break. Pajamas or birthday suit. Um. Birthday suit, because I always wear dresses. I don't wear anything apart from dresses. Okay. Netflix, Disney Channel? Neither. YouTube, TikTok? YouTube. Party or romantic night in? Party. Hats or dogs? Both. Vampires or werewolves? Neither. Endless money or true love? True love. Amen to that. Chocolate milkshake or strawberry milkshake? I can't drink either, but probably strawberry. Strawberry, that'd be me. Hagen Dazs or Ben and Jerry's? But you can't have them, no? No. No? Okay, religion or spirituality? That's tricky to say, but I'm definitely more spirituality. And the last one, sunshine or moonlight? We need both. But I prefer the night time. I prefer the night time. Gemma, it has been an absolute pleasure to have you on the Jaden show. You have been amazing. You are looking completely stunning. And I don't know how you look that beautiful considering it's one o'clock in the morning. I look like an escapee from Coronation Street at one o'clock in the morning. So you are doing well, whatever you're doing. Will you come back and talk to us again sometime? I would love to. Maybe, yeah. you know, I want to hear your new music and maybe we can do something together. That would be lovely. We need to do a duet, absolutely. And I will be messing you about a, a project I've got going on at the moment, which might be interesting. <laughs> my single's coming out soon. And like yourself, all my stuff is all over YouTube and and Tintanet, whereas TikTok and everything. So you'll find me and I'll send you a link when I get it because it will be really lovely to, to see what lovely. you think. I will enjoy that. But please come back. Please keep in touch. Please, anything that new that comes out, please let us know and we'll share it and give people updates on this show. You're amazing. You're very beautiful. You're very talented. Thank you so Thank much you. for being part of the Jaden Show and we'll speak to you Thank soon. Thank you so much. It's fantastic. Thank Today, you, everybody. You. Lots of love. Thank you, Jaden. Bye. Hasta Bye. luego. Bye. Gemma, once again, thank you so much for being part of the Jaden Show here on JCTV. It was wonderful to have you. And like I just said, I really hope you get a chance to come back. And I know that you guys loved her. So at the end, we're going to put in the credits where you can find her. But she's on GemmaLouiseDoyle.com. You will find Gemma Louise Doyle on YouTube, on Facebook, 
on iTunes, on Instagram, on Spotify. You can go and follow her and listen to her beautiful voice. And the music, most of, well, a lot of them are original as well, um, on Spotify. So put her, add her to your playlist. And make sure you follow her on everywhere. She's amazing and I'm very grateful that she was part of my show. Now, we've come to the end of the Jaden show for tonight, but we're going to be back next week with another phenomenal artist, another phenomenal person to introduce you to from some part of the world. Who knows? It's going to be a surprise. I'm actually quite looking forward to their quick fire, actually. Is you kind of get to know someone on a bit of a different level, don't you, when you find out if they prefer pajamas or sleeping naked. But this is something for us all to look forward to. Please have input, send me questions. If there's anything you want to know, anyone you want to include, anything we can do, let's interact, let's talk. Tell me how things are going because it's really important that you are part of this project. Isn't that right, Bomba? Bomba don't care. Bomba is just like cleaning. It's like, I'm chilling, man. Like, there's 20 of us here. Like, we've got to relax. Thank you so much for being part of this week's show. I'm going to leave you with another video from Gemma Louise Doyle, and we will see you again very soon. Take care, lots of love, and this will see you next time. Look at me